Okay, 5.3, we're going to continue on with that. We've had some late start days, so we've actually missed a couple days of math. Um, if you're at home sick, and I've got several students out today, this is the assignment that I gave um, everybody a couple days ago, and we just graded that, so make sure you guys have that done. We're going to move down a little bit here, and the, the 5.3 lesson uh, continued, and I talked about this just a, a, a couple days ago. Um, I mentioned, uh, you know, what they have here, a rate is a ratio of two quantities using different units. Uh, and a unit rate is, is it reduced. And, uh, and then we, I did a fun uh, example. Um, let's go down a little bit further here. Um, let's see here. So... I want you guys to do on your own. This will be part of your homework. And of course, since it's Friday today, uh, you guys will have some class time today and we will grade this on Mondays. But take a look at this here. Uh, I want you to do number uh, number two and, and number three here, but uh, let's look at them briefly. Number two, it says a Japanese bullet train travels at 558 miles. Well, actually, I'm sorry. It travels 558 miles in three hours. How far does it travel every hour? Well, um, what would you do here? It's a, there's a simple thing you would do to figure out how far it would go in an hour. Mr. Alchemy, your hand shot up. What do you think? 558 divided by 3. Yeah, exactly. Nicely done. Put up 20 points. It would be number two. It would be 558, as Mr. Alchemy said divided by three, and that's gonna equal something, and I'll let you figure that out. Number three, it says you pay $8 for, you know, that doesn't look very clear to me. I'm, I'm assuming that's 16, that one is kinda, of, it is 16, okay. You pay $8 for 16 ounces of sliced turkey. Write a rate that gives you the price for each ounce of turkey. So in this one, um, you need to figure out what each ounce would be, and so you're going to divide the eight, um, eight, this is number three, you're going to divide it by 16. Now, in the beginning of the year, we talked about problems like this, and remember, obviously 16 doesn't fit into eight, but it does fit into 80, so you're going to have to add a, de add a decimal. The decimal is going to go straight up, and then you add a zero. Then you need to figure out how many times 16 goes into 80. And if there's anything left over, carry it maybe one more decimal point. Okay, so that's how you would set up number three. So I want you to do those two problems. Let's go down a little bit further here. Um, let's move it down this way. So a chef buys six pounds of salmon for $51 and they ask the question this is an example to give you the answer how much will the chef pay for nine more pounds of salmon the first thing you have to figure out is the unit rate so you would simply um, divide 51 by 6 and then you're going to get the unit rate you have it right here it's 8 point five dollars per per pound and then it says well what what if they buy nine more pounds well then you would just multiply and they did it right there for you would multiply it by nine so that's one way to uh, figure out some of these problems so that's a good example you can refer back to let's go down a little bit further and I've got two more on your own that I want you to do this is page 207 and it's a and B that I want you guys to do let's look at this for a moment I'm going to help you guys set this up So uh, it says number four on your own. Uh, your download speed is three megabytes every four seconds. How many megabytes can you download in one minute? Well, I'll get this started for you here. So here's, here's my double number line, okay? And, and so right here, um, this will be, the top will be megabytes. I'll just put MB. And the bottom will be seconds. 
And so this will just start at zero with each one, okay? And the first mark I'll put, let's say uh, right here, it's going to be three megabytes for every four seconds. Now, I need to figure out what's the question. The question is, at least the first question, uh, how much, how many megabytes can you download in one minute? So I need to continue on with this. And I could, I could make the next one 6, and then 9, and then 12, and so forth. Wow, that would take a while. I am not going to do that. And I think about how many seconds are in a minute, and how many seconds are in a minute. You guys tell 60. me. 60. Well, so let's do this. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is multiply 3 by 10. And so now I have 30 seconds, OK? And then I'm going to multiply 4 by 10, because I want to figure out um, a rate. And so it's gonna, they're going to be multiplied by the same thing here. And I heard somebody say it. It's 40, OK? So now I have um, how many megabytes in a half a minute? Because we said it was 60, right? So in a half a minute, or in 30 seconds, it's 40 megabytes. Well, so, what's that? 30 megabytes. Oh, sorry, yeah, the other way around. 40 seconds, 30 megabytes. I had that turned around, all right? So, um, let's see here. Um, you know what? I actually had this backwards. I was thinking as I was doing this that the top part was seconds because that would have worked out nicely. That's what I thought. Yeah. So another way to look at it is to figure out how many fours fit into 60. Does it go in evenly? No. Does it? I don't think so. But it can come pretty close. Well, yeah, if you multiply four answer. by five, it goes 20. I know the so, okay, well, I'm glad you do, but a lot of people don't know it and they'll need to know the steps. Okay, so I hear, heard Mr. Lasor say uh, one way to do it is uh, 4 times 5 equals 20. Just add that and, then, and then you could um, add that three times, right? Or um, you could 20 times. Three and that's going to equal sixty. Or fifteen times. Right. I mean, or you could use fifteen. So there's lots of ways you could do this. So um, since I kind of messed up in the beginning here, uh, I would rewrite this if you guys were copying this down and do four four times five. So and I've got up here. I've got it times ten. I would do times five. And then you'll get uh, 20, and then you're going to multiply that by 3, or do 20, 20, 20, and then you'll end up with, with 60. Okay? You guys can, you guys understand this? Mm -hmm. Not really. Not really? Okay. Um, so uh, I'll explain more later. Miss Scott, to you, when, we go to P when you guys go to PE. Okay? All right. Um, let's go down a little bit further here. And the actual exercises. Um, I want you guys this to do number six, and I wanted to kind of set it up for you. Yes, number six. Well, you can see what I have marked there, Miss Scott. Out of the first three, four, five, and six, I want you to do just number six. All right. Um, so it's it says write a rate that represents the situation. So they're sort of looking for your own word problem. And we played with this a few days ago when we didn't have a late start. So you can see what they've got going here. Uh, 30 gallons in 5 seconds, 60 gallons in 10 seconds. All right. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I want you to write sort of a word problem using this chart or this this graph now 
What it wouldn't be is miles per hour, unless we're talking about something like the space shuttle. So uh, I, I think this would be more like you're pumping gallons of gas or gallons of water. It wouldn't be that uh, gas that, are, that a vehicle's using. So you're, you're, it's, it's a pump of some kind, let's say. They're trying to drain maybe a lake or whatever, or a pool. I mean, it's up to you guys. Or maybe they're trying to fill a pool. Um, you know, and they're using a, a, a fire hose, a massive fire hose, because 30 gallons in five seconds, that's, that's a lot of water in five seconds. Okay? So uh, I'll leave it up to you guys what kind of word problem you would use, and then um, um, whether you are looking for a solution um, at 50 seconds, because then you would just double the 25, it'd be times two. Or maybe, um, or maybe a hundred seconds, and you're going to end up multiplying it by what? Four. By four, because yeah. twenty-five goes into a hundred four times. So it's up to you. I'll let you guys come up with your own. But you do need to extend this. In other words, I don't want you just to use what's there. Um, you need to expand it. All right, uh, Miss Harley, you understand what I'm asking? So. Keep your eyes up here and not worry about your pins. Thank you. All right. Let's go down a little bit further. Uh, number 7, 8, 7 through 14, I want you to do. It says write a unit rate for the situation. So I'll, I'll do number 7 with you guys. So it says $28. Um, in four weeks. So how would we figure out uh, the unit rate? Um, 24 yeah. yeah. Not 24, but 28 mm -hmm. divided, divided by four. And most of you should know that off the top of your head. It's seven. So, um, so it's $28 in four weeks. So it's $7 per week. So there's your answer to number seven. Okay? All right. Um, questions on any of those? All right, number 16. Um, your heart beats at 240 times in four minutes. How many times does your heart beat each minute? Well, you should be able to figure that out by now. Number 18, you jog two kilometers in 12 minutes at this rate how long will it take you to complete a five kilometer race so think about this for a moment in this one it's um, we're simply dividing but we're not going to divide in number 18 in number 18 we're going to be multiplying because you're going from two kilometers to five kilometers so how many times does two go into five? Two. Well, it goes in two times evenly, or you could say 2.5. So there's, here's one way you could do it. And this is just one way. There's a couple ways. Um, let's just figure out how many times does two go into four? Obviously, two times. So you could just, um, if it takes 12 minutes to do two kilometers, how many minutes would it take to do four kilometers? 24. Okay, because it's twice as long. That makes sense. Then you could figure out how long does it take to do one kilometer? Divide. You would then you would divide it. Divide it by two. I heard somebody say it, so that would be six minutes. And then you would add that to 24. So I pretty much gave it to you there, but that's all I'm going to say. So if you're paying attention, number 18 should be uh, should be able to finish that pretty quickly and easily. And that's it. We'll stop there. So those are the problems I want you guys to do. Questions on any of these? All quiet. All right. Wow, kept it under 15. Way to go. All right. So we'll grade this on Monday. Stop video.